et ça se ressent dans beaucoup de sentiments poussés gigantiques comme le feu. Je passe à la On Tuesday night, I is at the first January 2023, there was sporadic shooting in, this, in several parts of Bobo Township. These shootings high was seen by 6 a.m. yesterday. The soldiers on peacekeeping decided to patrol as they would normally do. Then they got to a suburb of Boku called Zogen and saw some young men working in their dry season garden. They rounded these unarmed men and hundred men together, opened fire on them, and killed six of them instantly. They also chased a small boy who was within the area, and he ran into a millet van, a millet van, that is where they have the food in there. He went and hid himself there. They fired inside the van, and then it caught fire, and he was burned to death. Similarly, there was a woman who was also around working on her garden, and they also invited her and shot her in the arm. She is carefully on admission to one of the health facilities. We submit before then, two weeks, a week, a week earlier, before these killings. They had also killed two, uh, or shot and killed two people at Patelemi. And that is a suburb very close to the Mapuche area. I believe there were also some Mapuche. We submit that. Mushi said. Yeah, but you know the Mapuche area. Mm -hmm. so, we submit that the killings by the soldiers was uncalled for. It is barbaric and unprofessional. We demand that the ministers of defense and interior investigate this incident and bring the unprofessional perpetrators to book. The good name, in fact, the very good name of the military is being spoiled by this unprofessional conduct. We also demand that after the complaint, after the investigation, these uh, victims' families should be adequately compensated. Ladies and gentlemen, this conduct also defeats the purpose of peacekeeping. They rather seem to be aggressors rather than peacemakers or peacekeepers. The soldiers cannot deny responsibility as they have not seized any arms or weapons from the victims. I understand that they admit that yes, they did the firing and the killing of these innocent people, but that uh, they, were, they, they were exchanging fire. If that is so, that they, they were engaged, each, they were they are engaged each other. Then there might be evidence coming from the soldiers that oh, we see weapons from them, guns or, or bows and arrows or other missiles from them, but nothing. They just shot and killed them and they took the dead bodies to a, a, a hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also recalled that sometime last year, the soldiers and police in Boko also embarked on an unwarranted attack and killing of civilians in a village called Wabula. Of Boku. Here they shot and killed some people. They burnt houses, they burnt food banks, vehicles, motorcycles, just to mention a few. Indeed, we, the six members of Parliament from Kusab, visited the traditional area and then this affected area and saw things for ourselves. And the soldiers did not deny, or the police did not deny the action. They also went out of their way to harass the Kuzuka chief by searching his palace but saw nothing incriminate. You didn't see anything at the chief's palace. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the conflict in Boku, since November 2021, several security measures have been put in place, but these measures, with the greatest respect, seem not to be working. What are these measures? They include peacekeeping, curfew, that imposition of curfew in Boku, then the ban on riding of motorcycles, the embargo on wearing of smokes. I know how dear it is for us to wear smokes for funerals and other functions. As an even to the market for two years now, or since 2021, they have banned that. So people don't do that, don't wear smokes. These measures have failed. Government needs to adopt other strategies to bring peace to Boko. More intelligent gathering is necessary. Need for political will and commitment on the part of government to address the issue. It is important that we change the soldiers or the security personnel on the ground from time to time so that they don't get uh, influenced by the various factions and then compromise themselves. It is very important for us to do that. 
And we also think that, or recommend that, they should not do proper vetting of the of the security personnel who are sent to Boko for this purpose, because some may have hidden interest. And when that happens, and they come to Boko, they will marry the waters and they create a bad name for the these two very good uh, peace speakers that we have in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, but besides that, what is the conflict about? What is this conflict about? What are they fighting for? They say chieftains. But there is no chieftains dispute in Boko, as of now. 